Suppose the population begins with 5,200 people and doubles every 40 years. We are going to find out how long it will take for the population to be 12,000, right? So, well, first of all, let's come with the right equation, and this is the one that we are going to use. Notice that we have the keyword, namely doubles. So this right here, we will actually have to use Q is equal to A times the growth factor, which is B. But notice that it says, every 40 years. So the exponent is little t divided by capital T like this. And then let me just go back and I'll tell you what is what. Right here it says, initially we have 5,200 people. So that means the A is equal to 5,200. And it says doubles. Well, that means the B is equal to two. And lastly, it says every 40 years, that means the capital T is equal to 40. So with all this, let's just draw into the formula. So we see that we have Q being equal to A is 5200. So let me just put that down right here. And then for the B, I'll open a parentheses. And then it says, well, it doubles, so the B is equal to 2. So I'll just put down the 2 inside. And then the little t stays the same. So I'll just have little t, but divided by the capital T is 40 because he says every 40 years. And with this being done, this right here is the formula that we are going to be using to answer these two questions. All right, so part A, right here it says, how long will it take? So that means the little t we do not know. It says the population, we want it to be 12,000, right? So that means the Q, well, you can also use capital P, doesn't really matter. But let's say Q, which is the quantity of the people. How many people there are there, which is 12,000. And then I just have to put this right here. So we see 12,000 divided, no, sorry, 12,000 is equal to 5,200 times 2 raised to the t divided by 40th power, like this. All right, so solve exponential equation right here. We divide both sides by 5,200. So let me do that. Divide both sides by 5,200. This way, this and that will cancel. And let me see, 12,000 divided by 5,200. Well, we get a decimal number, and since everything is decimal like data, so we'll just use decimal right here. This right here is approximately 2.3 something, right? So let me just write that down. This is approximately 2.308, right? So this right here is the approximation. So this right here is approximately and then the right hand side, we have two. And then this is raised to the t over 40th power like this. Notice that the t is in the exponent. So we will have to use logarithm. Right here, let's take the log with base two. Why base two? Well, we have to have the same base, right? And again, be sure you put the log base two in the front. And I will do the same thing on the left hand side. Log base two of this. Great. Then you see log base two and that cancel. So that means t divided by 40 is approximately. Well, for this, how do we calculate that? So let me just write this down for you guys, okay? Remember this right here, you do it on the calculator as log of this number, which is 2.308, and then divided by log of the base, which is 2, like that, right? So this right here is how you calculate this number. So let me just do down the calculator real quick. And we have log of 2.308 and then divided by log of 2. All right, so this right here, we end up with approximately 1.207. All right, great. Lastly, this is t divided by 40, so we just have to multiply both sides by 40 so that this and that will cancel. Then we see that t is approximately equal to this times 40. So let me see. 1.207 times 40, we end up with 48.28. And this is about how long it takes, so it's about years. So I will just put down 42.28 years. So again, use your calculator, we get 48.28 years like this. Right? Great. 
Now, part B, right here says, we are going to find the number of people after 22 years. So this right here is more straightforward because we just need to plug in T being equal to 22. So put the T right here, 22. So have a look. Q, which is the quantity of the people, that's equal to 5200 times 2 raised to the 22's power divided by 40, right? So this is the 22 for the little t. And then for the power, we also have to divide it by the 40. Like this. And be sure, you have to do this one really carefully, especially you have two things in the exponent. Make sure you enter it carefully, right? I will recommend you, if you want to enter everything onto your calculator, you put parentheses in the exponent, right? But anyway, though, just do it on your calculator and you should end up with the following. Let me just write this down right here for you guys. Let's see. 5200 times 2 and then raised to the 22 divided by 40. 22 divided by 40. We end up with, so I'll just say this right here. You will end up with 7613 point two five and so, so, so on right but we are talking about people so i would just say this is approximately seven six one three people right because you you cannot have 2.25 people so yeah seven thousand six hundred thirteen people so yeah this right here is it